Greetings all, Frog here. Time for the Friday update from the pond for the 4th of November 2016. Just a mere 17 days left until my birthday. 18 for me right now. It's the 22nd if you've forgotten. But if you haven't, thanks. Oh, this is next week. Silly me. This is this week. A little preview. Like there's any surprise. I mean, it's just gonna be more of the same. I've been enjoying everything that I've been playing, so. Of course we go, I am behind this week. Uh, that's mostly because yesterday, for me, which was Wednesday, I worked 13 hours. I didn't end up getting home until, um, God, 13 and a half hours. Until, um, am I doing the math right? If I got to work at 9.45 and left at 11.45. That's 14 hours. So I did a 14 hour day. It was long. Um, there won't be many more of those left, hopefully, because a lot of the big projects that I'm working on are, are quite near completion, but damn, it was a long day. Uh, to put it in perspective, when I left work, the uh, World Series was tied at six apiece, meaning the, the game itself, and they had just hit the home run in the eighth. I was tired when I got home, that is for certain. So uh, I didn't record anything. I, I basically went straight to bed, which for me is very, very unusual. But uh, that's what I did. So today I caught up with Friday, as you can see. Uh, Factorio is already uh, done and, and uploaded. I just have to, to set it to schedule. And then tomorrow, Friday, I'm actually working a half day because I worked a 13-hour day yesterday. And the boss said, uh, I was surprised to see you here this morning. As he said that literally to me as I was, uh, I was leaving. We had our one-on-one our -on -one today. I said, hey, do you mind if I work a half day tomorrow it, because of the, the because of Wednesday? He's like, no, honestly, that's fine. I was I was shocked to see you here so early today. <laughs> I was like, well, I mean, that's stuff I needed to get done. I had reports that were due that were unrelated to the project I was working on. And, um, you know, I mean, work work continues just because you work late. Sometimes you have to work late. Um, but it'll be nice to have a half day tomorrow, I'll tell you that. So I'll record a little bit. And honestly, I think I'm going to stream some uh, Binding of Isaac because my wife is working a full day. So while she's off at work, I'll finish uh, recording the videos for the week. And then I think I'm going to stream some Binding of Isaac just to, because it's I'm having so much fun playing it. And um, we're, we're just in a wonderful spot. If you have not yet seen the Afterbirth episodes and the live stream and you don't want to be spoiled, I would skip ahead probably... 90 seconds maybe here I'll give you I'll promise you this I will switch to the new week and then back when I'm done talking about Isaac okay that's my promise to you okay you ready you ready all right so the I, I'm done with all of the post-its and all of the challenges it is amazing the feeling is absolutely wonderful so all that's left is essentially farming so I'm just gonna start streaming Isaac and then when I play the Isaac episode I'm just going to play. Uh, the only achievements I have left to get are Platinum God, Real Platinum God, and 1,001%. The only items I have left, which is as soon as I have picked up each of these items, that is what will happen. I have the Immaculate Conception, which is an angel deal item. I have the Dollar, which is a slot machine item, which I'm surprised I have never gotten. And at least I was, if you watched the live stream when I talked about it, until I realized I almost never play the slot machines. So I'll play the slot machines more. That'll be the dollar. Um, missing no, I still have not gotten. That is a special item from Secret Rooms. So we're going to have to find all the Secret Rooms and play all the slot machines, basically. Robo Baby 2.0, which surprises the hell out of me, which probably happened a number of times in the past that I've looked at it and said, ah, I don't want that. So I didn't pick it up. It's just annoying. So I don't have that. Godhead, which of course we just unlocked. That's another Angel Room item. Zodiac, which I think is also in the Angel Rooms. I'll have to look that one back up. Serpent's Kiss. And then, of course, Mega Blast, which is the ultra rare Mega Mega Stand item. So we just have to get those, which means you just have to play. We'll get to that. I wonder how many hours I put into this game so far. I'm gonna look that up. All right, let's do. Let me let me switch back and forth so that way the people know that I'm I'm just I'm not talking about that anymore. Uh, so we switch back. And we switch back. Okay. So welcome back, those of you who skipped ahead. I'm going to say one more Isaac thing, because I'm looking up the amount of time I've spent in the game so far. Uh, but I'm not going to spoil anything else about it. Once I can figure out where the hell... I guess I'll just have to go to the alphabetical listing of apps. There it is. I have to log in? Oh hell, I'm, there's no way I'm going to remember my password. Alright, never mind. Well, I've played a lot. 
and uh, we're going to keep playing for the foreseeable future because I really enjoyed it. So there, there will be a stream, I think, Friday afternoon, maybe, special Isaac-only stream just to just play it and have fun. So that's Isaac. GeoGuessr is uh, where it is. You notice I moved American Interiors. It, it is. Uh, it was up today. You've probably already watched it if you like GeoGuessr. If you haven't, go ahead and check that one out. It was a fun one, actually, quite quite well. And and I feel good about it. At least on the forum, I was tops, but I'm sure that that won't last forever. But it was it was a very enjoyable challenge and and um, longer, but 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 good. Uh, tomorrow, of course, will be the Great White North Nine. And um, if I could curate it. I would, I would purposely pick stuff in Saskatchewan in the honor of the great, late, late, great uh, Gordy Howe. And then Sunday will be... Uh, whose challenge is it on Sunday? Let's look. Sunday is uh, Niall. It's a, oops, sorry. It's an unusual buildings challenge. So I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, Lothian is kind of running its course. I'm basically just waiting for it to end at this point because we only have like 140 years to go, something like that. So there's not a lot of time left. I don't think we're going to accomplish our goal, which is unfortunate. It was fun for a while until the damn Aztec invasion sort of ruined my my liking of it. But there are still some interesting things going on. Um, we'll load the game again and see what happens, but that's how it is. In fact, Torio is just, I'm just having a blast playing it, um, playing both of them and really enjoying every every moment of it. I'm kind of sad that I haven't finished Factorissimo yet for this week. Um, and I played, honestly, I sat down and played all seven episodes of Hands Free in a row, back to back on Saturday. And it was awesome. And I loved it. And I wish, uh, I wish I had been able to do that with Factorissimo, but I only got through five episodes before I had to stop. Uh, this week was also a little bad too because I couldn't process videos ahead of time. I had to wait because the um, change of the month happened, so I had to wait to change the credits. It's a minor thing, but I can't actually process any videos until that happens, and so I tend to start getting lazy, and it's bad. I know, I know. Next week, more of the same. I can't believe we're getting into the thick of it. Uh, we'll be 50 days from the end of the year on Friday. Madness. It's absolute madness. And we'll keep playing CK2, we'll keep playing Afterbirth, we'll keep playing Factorio and Factorissimo. Um, and you may ask, hey, Frog, after you've you've got 1,001%, are you going to still play Afterbirth? The answer is yes. And then we'll, we're going to start streaking and trying to get the highest streaks we can. I don't know if that'll be random or Eden or, or Isaac streaks or whatever. Whatever you want to see, let me know, and that's what I'll be playing um, until Afterbirth Plus comes out and we have to get all that stuff again, which is partially why I want to start streaming more Isaac, because I, I honestly get that feeling that Afterbirth Plus could happen at any single moment, and I want to 1,001% the game before I have to deal with that. But we'll see. And and that's really it. I mean, my personal life is, is real personal right now. My wife and I are just kind of um, coasting to the holidays almost. Right? There's big changes at, at work going on for both of us because of the new Federal Labor Labor and Standards Act. What does it stand for? FLSA? I think it's a, whatever it is. Um, it, it affects us greatly because obviously we, we are um, both in roles that have uh, either direct reports or um, um, direct colleagues. I mean, oh, anyway, we all have colleagues that are affected by this thing. So lots of big changes coming and we're just kind of holding on to our hats and and just trying to enjoy life as we can. Um, I think we may actually get to both of our Christmases this year, which is stunning because we haven't been able to do that in, in almost three years. So it'll be nice to be able to see all the family and uh, connect with everybody um, and to just have a really good holiday time. We're, we're getting into it, right? It's already November. Now, I have a personal, personal motto, a personal belief system, if you will, that says... The fat boy should not be sticking his ass into November because of two reasons. One, of Thanksgiving. Sure, I suppose nationally that could be a concern. But two, get your ass out of my birthday. My birthday is already close enough to Christmas. I don't need you squishing them together. So I don't uh, put up any Christmas decorations. I do not listen to Christmas music until after Thanksgiving because my birthday is always on or before Thanksgiving. So that is my own personal rule, and I think my wife is going to kill me this year because she really wants to put up our Christmas tree, but we're, we're going to, but not until after then. Fat boy, stay away. There's one fat boy here, and it's me, and I'm not going to allow you to stick your nose in. I'm not that fat, but but it's it's, it's a joke. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not getting into the, quite the holiday spirit, quote-unquote, and frankly, um, it's all overdone. I don't know. 
So, uh, some other exciting things that are going on in the personal life. I'm starting to plan my, my vacation season for uh, 2017, and I have decided I'm going to VidCon. So, I'm going to be at VidCon in Anaheim, and I'm going to be at um, Origins, for sure, and obviously Buckhead Game Fest, which is our local convention. So, I'm going to go to those three, for sure, and I'm thinking about either trying to get to PAX, or to Gen Con, maybe. Uh, because I've never been to Gen Con, and I've never been to PAX. But at the same time, Dragon Con is calling. It's been a while since I've been to Dragon Con, but I kind of kind of really want to go down to Atlanta and do Dragon Con. So I don't know for sure what the fourth one's going to be, but I'm going to do four conventions next year, I'm pretty certain. So um, 100% it's going to be uh, VidCon, Anaheim, uh, uh, Origins, and uh, Bucket Game Fest. And we'll see what the rest of it is. But those are... are um, 100% things I'm going to do. Full disclosure, I am on the committee that runs the Buckeye Game Fest, so uh, it's, it seems likely that that's why I'm going to be there. But not, even if I weren't, I would go, because it's a nice local friendly con. It gets about 400, 500 people, so if you don't like really busy cons, but you like really quality, because, I mean, all the people that are there are quality. We play great games. That's definitely a con to check out. It's in... Um, uh, well, we can't announce the date yet, actually, because we're having some issues with the, the hotel finalizing the contract. We know when we want it to be. We've already come to a verbal agreement, but they have to actually give us a contract before we can sign it. So, you know, it's crazy how that works, isn't it? But when they do, then we'll, we'll announce the official date for that. But uh, Origins is the second week in June, and VidCon is the third week in June. So it's going to be, June's going to be a busy week for me. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to get two weeks off of work. But if I can't, Origins is in town. So at the very worst, I could just work in the morning and do Origins at night. It's not ideal, but it's possible. So we'll see how that goes um, in general. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm mostly healthy. I've got the sniffles again. I, I don't know what's going on with that, but it's... Uh, it, it is what it is, and I'm um, looking forward to, to playing some stuff. Some of you guys have been suggesting some new new games that look very interesting. Um, I did not pick We Are Dwarves up while it was on sale, which makes me sad, because I, I I meant to, and then I read it at work, and then by the time I got home, I forgot. So I, um, I it looked interesting, but other types of games uh, I'm certainly in the mood for. We're going to play some more Can't Drive This, because uh, it's a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to um, Loop from... Pixel Maniacs, so and when that gets going, hopefully I'll be able to help test it, because it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, all their stuff is really cool. Uh, this is sort of a, a mid length update for me. I, I've really had about... Uh, uh, and I, I'm gonna, I was going to say I've had about enough, but it, that's a, usually a negative term, at least in, in the part of the United States I'm from. And I just more mean that uh, I have nothing really left to talk about. That's, that's where it is. So, no new updates on the channel. All the, the new channel stuff will be coming uh, announced in December for a January release, I hope. And, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers, of course. Head on over to patreon.com slash purplefrogplays if you have the means to subscribe, because that dollar is incredibly important. Uh, every dollar is worth a thousand page views, give or take. So, I really do appreciate that. And, of course, keep watching here at, uh, at YouTube as well. Don't forget that the live streams on Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, those are actually simulcast on um, YouTube and on Twitch. So... Uh, still no combined chat method, but at least you can go to one or the other and um, and see and, and participate in whichever one works best for you is the one that you can use. And, and if you run around and be sneaky, you could just pop out the chat on the other one and, and have it next to the, the chat for the, the one you're actually watching on. And then you can see them both. But however you work that out is, is up to you. Thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate everybody that takes the time out of your day to watch some of my videos and uh, can contribute either through their eyeballs or through their wallets. Either way, um, really does mean a lot. To, to setting out to do this, you know, 18 months ago, I never really would have thought that we'd be encroaching on 2,500 videos and having such outpouring of support. So I really do thank you. Uh, for everybody. So that's the update for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already because you really, really should. And until next time, cheers.